servants. Make yourselves useful. Thank the gods. <laughs> Right your throne. I die, my work unfinished. So close, so very close to ushering in the perpetual rule of the strong and virtuous. Virtue! <laughs> the virtue give us the power of the gods. What is one boy? What is one boy? Papo? Get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a real hunt. Huh? All right. <laughs> come, come. What are we hunting? The Oracle wants the pelt of an Ibex stag for the ceremony. You will stand next to the pharaoh. Won't you, Violet? You're the Magi. When I'm Magi, I'll stand next to the pharaoh. You'll never be Magi. Too scared. That's not true. What about the hyena kid? Shut up. Enough, you two. The sand is so hot on my feet. Sometimes they light on fire. It makes you faster. <laughs> it is up ahead. Can I come? <laughs> Your mother's waiting for you. All right. See you at the ceremony, Hamu. Bye, Chanzura. The herd is around here. We don't want just any stag. We want the pack leader. Which one is he? Big, with giant horns. Quiet now. Do what I do. Senu! Senu! Come to me! Why are you calling Senu? Chenzero told me I should steal his feathers so that my rain ceremony gets me to the field of reeds. <laughs> Hit! Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Hardly hurts at all. Let us get that pelt. We will take this to the Oracle before it gets dark. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. 
<laughs> you can't. Your arrow will have to become Senu. Imagine. All my arrows are Senu's. Then I'll be able to hunt anything. You said you'd like to see the Pharaoh up close. Yeah. What if you stand with me by his side? Can I do that? As my son and the future Magi, yes. Papo, what is a Magi really? The first Magi was a protector of the Pharaoh. But now, it means you must protect all the people of Egypt. Not just protect them, but work for their well-being. Oh, Papo, I'm so excited to be Magi one day. You know all the secrets of Siwa. What if I never go up to be a Magi? Ah, of course you will. You are my son. But I get scared. Hold on. Let's go this way. I try to be brave, but sometimes it's hard. When I was about your age, sometimes I got scared too. Your grandfather was a well-known Magi, and he wanted me to bring honor to the family when I succeeded him. Yeah? One day, he took me up this way. At the top, he said something to me. A single word. It changed me. One word? I got over my fear. I knew I could do anything I needed to. What did he say? I will tell you once we are there. What word did your father say? Jump. Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. Trust me, you can. I do. I will. Now jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. <gasps> Shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Shanzira. I said shut up! Run home to your mother. Chenzera will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go, now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Emu, just do what I say, please. Go! Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. Come. Who are you to give commands to me? You piece of shit. We don't have time to piss away. Make a sound and you're dead. What took you so long? Didn't want to be seen, sir. Kept to the shadows. We are pleased you have joined us, Medjai. It is of great importance that we gain access to the vault. The temple priests stubbornly refuse to assist us. You are perhaps reluctant out of loyalty I to the Oracle. We have question. someone to help convince you what otherwise. Forward!
see that no one comes in. Oh, Camel, are you hot? Go ahead. Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of there! Your son has something to explain to you. Would the Ibis show him the orb? We believe we need this to enter the vault. This is a waste of time! The boy is frightened. It's all right. Papa, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use this. As measure, you must have some clue to your legend that explains its use. I don't know anything about this vault! Please leave my son out of my this! He will be discovered. Here. Quickly! Talk to your son. If the vault isn't open when we return, you'll never see him again. Papa! I did what you said, but... Ah, he's all right, son. I can get it to you. What? No! Hemu, don't! They are going to hurt us. Hemu, then. Hemu. This foolish waste of time! Hemu, Hemu! Out of time! Tell us! So, I, I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait! He Stop. will never know the afterlife! I, I will tell you! I will tell you! Stop! 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 Can save your own son. You are no one. By yak of nothing, father to nobody. <laughs> of the duo to wait. Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siva. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. Come see me when you are certain you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
sun. He wanted the stars. The stone circles show the gods' places in the sky. And your grandfather once told me they also show our place in the world. I'm going to find every stone circle. The Sphinx and the pyramids too. And I'll find my king. Why are there so many poor in Egypt? That those who don't belong here are rich. Egypt has forgotten who she is. Many chose wealth over honor. In the end, they got neither. Lost justice as well. But we are Magi. We will bring justice and honor back to Egypt. Yes, my son. We have not forgotten who we are. We will endure no matter our origin. Are you ready? I must leave Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said that you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Oh shit! Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat! Layla! Wakey, wakey! Don't make me come down there. Layla? Layla? <coughs> come on back. Layla, are you with me? Hefipti. Told you not to call me that. Thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's medical officer Geary to you. 
So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest, Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not gonna be happy with how you handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. Got the cyclosporin. Two cc should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. Going back in. This is so badass. Be careful. I must protect this great land. Alexandria is where the snake thrives, and Aya lives. I must find them both. Yamu. Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. Lost. Bayek, what good fortune! I thought it would be years before we saw you again. Hail in peace, Menahet. How is your family? The children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have our hands full. 
And you, is there any news of... None. I forget myself. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by your garb that you have been promoted. Ah, yes. The high priest, in his grace, made me his second. And my rank is not the only thing he has changed. You must see the temple. You will give me a tour? Of course, of course. At the moment of your pleasure. Ready to see our beautiful temple? After you, Menehet. Or is it servant of the goddess? Menehet will do for one as good as family. Far from the sorry ruin of my last visit. Yamu now plays constant host to ceremonies showing our rustic way of life, which attract many visitors with more gold than sense. Uh, a description well suited to Alexandrians. How does this sit with your faith? I confess that my thoughts are sometimes uneasy. by a gang of ruffians, huh? Silent as gifts. Uncle Bayek! Uncle Bayek! Hello, Uncle. Jewels of my life, why have you left your mother's side? Pick me up, Uncle Bayek! Ah, see now, there's no need to attack a man from behind. We're not numbering him four to one. Huh? You told us to secure every advantage possible over a tender's foe. Yes, yes, yes. And I am very dangerous! <laughs> Hide well, for the wanderer stalks your path! Come away from there, Naila. You're getting in the priest's way. Asina, you must come down from here. Only the priests are permitted here. You know that. Yes, but I want to see it. Hush. Come down now. We can watch stars from the riverbank. You might get lost without me. It's a big temple. Be sure you will meet your end at the hands of the mighty gladiator Sonia. <laughs> Father wants you to go home. And I prefer to stay with you. Keba, what in the name of the gods are you doing down there? I wanted to hide, but now I can't get back out. I'm scared. Stay calm. I will help you out of there. This way. That's the last of the children. I will tell Menehet that the children are safe. Hello, oh. Ankyo. Look at this. Fraud abounds in your market. And you claim you can do nothing? The dealings of the market are beyond me. Speak rather to the offending merchant. <laughs> Priest! You have proven as false as your mummies. Man ahead. Your brood is delivered safely home. Thank you, friend. Hey, what did that fool want with you? 
Some visitors, having purchased religious objects, are angry when our village has no more dead cats to sell them. Though not a merchant, I am often the means by which the aggrieved snuff their anger. This matter needs a firm hand. These cat mummies are false! Yeah. Greetings. I am... You have come to the right place, Ned. We have everything you could possibly want. What I want is to ask about false idols sold at the market. I have heard rumors of such, but there is nothing to them. Now leave if you want to avoid trouble. Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahet sent me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Yeah, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality. Or see our stones destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. <laughs> Magi, help me, I will pay you. What do you need? Last night, my dear husband Claudius took a boat out to see the ruins across the lake. He has not returned. None of these brutes honor a wife's pain. I beg you. I will seek him out. Do be quick. I will await you here.
scene of death. I should investigate. Was this a terrible ceremony? There is so much blood, as if some butchery occurred here. But the elements have eroded many of the signs. Scraps of a message. Ah, there's too much missing. Sekhmet, the goddess of hunters. But there are scratches here, above the statue's stomach. What does it represent? Let me be. And it's... here is Claudius. Scraps of blood and flesh. There was a body here. The crocodiles must have devoured it. lid of a sarcophagus. There was a symbol here, but it is too damaged for me to make out. Troubling. If I had more information, I might understand this better. But as he was eaten by a crocodile, I'll keep my eye out for anything else so unusual. The crocodiles are dead. Now to speak to Claudius and find out why he came out here. Why did you kill them? We had only just met. Claudius, you are drunk. Yes, that is me. And no, I am not. I had only two or ten beers. <laughs> All right. Let's get you back to your wife. I have a wife? Oh, mother will be so pleased. What was your reason for going out there, Claudius? I was going... I do not really remember. I came from Alexandria for the festival. And some kind of... Yes, someone offered me to drink all night for free. Impossible to, re to resist. What were we talking about? How you got here. Oh, right, then I woke up here with those crocodili all around. Tell me, can they really speak? Egypt is a land full of magic and ancient mystery. Amazing. My friends in the city will never believe it. Did you say something about... There you are, my dear. I was worried about you. Oh, my Dionysus. I remember. I went to the island because of her. She... She got me drunk, married me, told me I owed her a virginity tax. Whose virginity? You can go. This is between me and my husband. No, 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 don't, don't go. They'll kill me. Show him what happened, then you fight, you kick a woman. Please! 
Be careful when drinking with strangers. Oh. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <sighs> it is a beautiful night. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind the traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. Speak evil, and you will always find it. This was a worthy fighter. as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting talk or you will meet the same fate as your friends that will not be necessary among the dunes southeast of here is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made i suppose you would go and destroy it now better i smash the camp than your head destroying this as ra lives what a disgrace. idea.
now that this is done. Here you are. <laughs> How can I use the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isfet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The high priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. Hamu does like a drink now and again. This must be Pamu. Ugh. The man stinks of beer. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to get him to leave for hours. Menahet. That is Pamu! What has happened to him? His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster! People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight! If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi! You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. Holiness, I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu? He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. Sekhmet 
will receive a fine tribute. We give thanks for your presence on this sacred night. We invite your witness on the solemnity of our custom. We unveil to you a ritual that has guarded us. Should malice cling too strongly to your hearts, Isfet, the evil one, shall smite the goddess. Ah! And condemn Yamu to a hundred seasons of darkness. But, should your hearts be pure, the goddess shall favor us, shielding us from the obscurity of chaos! Let the battle away, begin! Luck. The time unknown, Sephmet the lioness has shielded us from Isfet's gleam. Isfet was once husband to Ma'at, goddess of old. Tampered with the scales of judgment, he grew fat on the souls of mortals. I could swear you were the Blood Eater herself. Ah. Oh, the priest's recounting of the battle between the goddess and Isfet was <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yamu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer. But I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so. They'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu. Whenever your journeys bring you to our gnome. Keep the mask and staff of the goddess as poor tokens of... <laughs> 